I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Ali Tarani, one of our fellows at CDL Vancouver in the health stream. Ali is CEO and president of Zymeworks, which he founded in 2003. Zymeworks is a publicly listed clinical stage by a pharmaceutical company initially focused on the treatment of cancer. Dr. Tarani has served as a board director for multiple life sciences and technology organizations and is a sought after thought leader who cares deeply about building a robust life science ecosystem in Canada. Without more ado, please welcome Dr. Ali Tarani. Ali. Uh, thank you, Paul. Uh, good morning, everyone. It is great to be here. Thank you for having me. I have about four to five minutes to talk about uh, a subject very near and dear to my heart, which is biotech. The other day, I had to explain what biotech is to my six-year-old. And in the course of doing that, I realized that there was a subject matter that I wanted to speak with you all today. As long as I've been part of this industry, as long as uh, we've all been part of this industry, I believe biotech has been about big B, little t. It's been more about bio and less about tech. But I think something is changing. I think there is a paradigm change in the mix. And I believe the future is about a balance between the B and the T. That in fact, T will be the bigger driver to B, that tech is gonna push bio to new possibilities. And we're in the midst of a revolution where technology is not just gonna be limited to, to consumer needs and to ads that we see and things that were sold. I believe this revolution is gonna bring personalized medicine. It's gonna bring precision medicine. So what do I mean by that? If you think about the past, the therapeutics that we've all had have been a little bit of a guesswork, have been a little bit of a part of a shotgun approach. Will it work? Could it work? Could there be a one size fits all? But the future is about designer therapeutics. It's about fit for purpose therapeutics. It's about multifunctional therapeutics. It's about smarter therapeutics. And these designer drugs will work exceptionally well in a smaller subset of population than a larger one. They will be safer. They will have less side effects. The amount of commercials that you see on US TV where they talk about a drug and they take you know, four minutes about telling you how it could kill you or what it could do to you will go away because we will be smarter. And in, in the process of drug design, as you're all aware, it's a very one-way approach where an idea leads to clinical trials and ultimately commercial data. But the data that is generated in the clinical setting is never utilized appropriately to ask why did it work or more importantly, why did it not work? I think we're at a point where this revolution in technology will enable people to ask those questions at every stage of the game and go back and iterate and do it better. I think the tech revolution is going to change companies as we know it. Historically, we've been used to the white lab coat. We've been thinking about healthcare and labs. I think in the future, you're gonna see more engineers, more mathematicians, more physicists. It's gonna be driven by AI. It's gonna be driven by ML because the data has existed. The data has been around. We have not used it and we are going to. And the, these innovations are gonna be driven by smaller companies. They're gonna be driven by five, 10, 15 elite partnerships between engineers, mathematicians, and scientists. The scientists will pose the question, the engineers, the mathematicians, the physicists, the chemists will drive the answer. And I believe the CDL community is the perfect example of where we'll come from and the CDL investment community have a front seat to see it. The secret to success will be an open mind. The secret to success will be to look for the black swans, to realize that there is no such a thing as an overfunded biotech or a biotech that needs to go slower or safer. It is going to be about believing that the impossible is possible and it can be done faster, better and cheaper. It will just not have a signature on it. It will not have the typical things you're used to. There is a shift in mentality. There is a shift in the viewpoint and we're seeing it right in front of our eyes, especially as you see the super graduates, as you see everyone presented today. I think we are in the future today. 
and we just have to realize it and realize it that oncology, inflam, autoimmune disorders are going to be controlled and it's going to come as a result of a tech revolution going into big data and doing it better. Thank you for your attention.